Citroen C4, rival to the VW Golf and Ford Focus. 15 and a half thousand pounds, up to 21 and a half thousand for the range topping exclusive model. A well-groomed hatchback, if a little mundane, that concentrates on fuel economy and saving weight, that's got lots of room and a great big boot. Its ordinary looks are intentional because the target audience of middle-aged men aren't bothered about standing out from the crowd. It's not unattractive though, but it is a far cry from the stylized outgoing C4 that was full of detail outside and in, including a fixed hub steering wheel where the center remained steady and it was the rim around it that spun. That was deemed too out there for the market. The new C4 is definitely more grown up. An eco-diesel producing just 109 grams per kilometre of CO2 is on offer. Weight has been shaved wherever possible to help save fuel economy. And it's full of green materials like recycled plastics and natural fibres. The engine lineup consists of three petrols and three diesels. And this is the largest of the Derv drinkers, a two litre with 148 brake horsepower. It's only available in the most expensive, exclusive trim though, so you will pay a top price of £21,500. Despite it being the quickest in the range, its 0-62 time is still a leisurely 8.6 seconds. But it is very smooth and very quiet once you get up to speed with some decent mid-range grunt. It's all fine, just a bit ordinary. We've determined that this isn't a sports hatch, but it does handle surprisingly well. It's quite steady and short-footed around the corners, and the turn-in is responsive, but it lacks that delicate precision of some rivals. These two cars are the reason for Citroen's softened look. The VW Golf and Ford Focus are this car's stiffest competition and both are stern and sensible in design. And although the Citroen isn't going in for any handling awards, this pair is far superior in that department. Comfort was a big consideration when they created this car and they've done a good job. Road noise is hushed, and the ride is well cushioned. There isn't a single thing in here that I don't like. The dials with their various ambient glows, the speedo needle that goes around the outside, and the hugging sculpted seats are all top notch. My favorite thing in here is that you can choose from a selection of four different indicator tones. Now that's the sort of thing that ticks my box and shows that Citroen hasn't lost its creative spirit. Citroen is definitely trying to emulate its more successful rivals by dropping its French quirkiness in favour of a more Euro box design. And it is a great car if you want a comfortable, well-equipped machine that's got decent running costs. If you want something more dynamic, look elsewhere. Or wait for the designer version DS4 that's due on sale in 2011.